The achievements in Pizza Tower are insane. Let me explain. In this extremely fast and precise platformer, there are 72 achievements. These achievements vary from getting tickled with a feather difficulty, to covering your hand with aluminum foil and sticking it in a toaster difficulty. Achievements like not touching the lava in a level that's just literally made of lava, or maybe not triggering any alarms in a level where if you make one sudden miss input, those alarms will trigger. With achievements like these, you might wonder why I chose to 100% this game. But don't you worry, this game really rocks. This is how I got all the achievements in Pizza Tower. We begin with my first playthrough of the game, and it's where I quickly realize how absolutely perfect this game is. Mm. The second I started moving Bopino, I noticed that the controls are extremely smooth, and the movement in this game is extremely fun. Oh, this feels really smooth. For the people who haven't at least given this game a playthrough yet, I promise that you're missing out. And to the people who have played this game already, you already know all this, so I'll keep this section brief and jump right into the achievements. The achievements that I mistakenly got while I was no. playing through the game were John Gutted oh. for breaking every John block on the first level, Delicacy for making 40 sets of cheese platforms crumble in ancient cheese, and I also beat ancient cheese without getting hurt by a single explosion. I did it! Thrill Seeker! Pepino's Rain Dance pop for activating these totems in the Oregano Desert level with the Mac Dash, and in the Waste Yard, I surfed on every corpse for another one. The last one I got was Royal Flush for touching all of these cards in the fast food saloon. So we start with 6 achievements out of 72. To start, Every level has three achievements, each varying in difficulty. I decided to start from level one and work my way all the way up to the last world. So starting with John Gutter, I need to... I need to finish it in under two minutes. And I need to get a combo of 99 or more. Go! Since a good chunk of these achievements took a fair bit of time, I decided to also add a timer in the bottom right hand corner to give you an idea of how long some of these took me. And Spike Man! Oh my god! This is gonna be so hard! And hard it was. After 40 minutes more of practice, I ended up with this run. You! Two minutes, 98 milliseconds. It's okay though, because I ended up getting it not even five minutes later. What? <laughs> Let's go! What? Okay, I guess I got the god run. All right, we gotta get a 99 combo now. This achievement wasn't so bad as now I was warm with the level and managed to get pretty close on my first oh try. Oh my god, hurry. Why? I couldn't get the 99. What, I missed two? Oh, I got new clothes at least. I swear on my life I've killed everything. Now we just gotta get out of here. Got it. Let's go. Oh, primate range. Rage. What am I saying? After the first level, the achievements weren't nearly as lengthy. We moved on to Pizza Skate, where we had to parry 10 Fork Knights with my taunt. Come here, buddy. Kapow! Kill an enemy in ball form, and the hardest achievement on the level was to get to each priest without bumping into any walls. The thing is, the knight armor power-up makes you slide without having the ability to stop. No! So what I had to do was be very careful and do my ground pound attack just in time before I crashed into any. I would guess. Yes, let's go! I don't know why that took me so long. Shining armor! I had only one extra achievement to grab from Ancient Cheese, and it was really quick and easy. Yay, volley bomb! Yep, that's it. Just kill a rat with a bomb dropped by a goblin. Blood Sauce Dungeon ramped up the difficulty quite a bit, making me beat the whole level without touching a single pizza cutter, and also beating the whole level without touching any lava whatsoever. <laughs> there was also this extra one for super jumping for more than two seconds here. There. I'm just so scared of the pizza cutters. Never thought I'd be saying that in my life. I think we're good if I just get past this one. And we're good! Let's go. Oh, unsliced pizza man. Now for the really hard one though, the stupid lava. Soil it, soiled it, soiled it. I honestly wish... You're oh! I'm 
just got. Oh! I feel like I'm actually being burned by the lava every time I do that. That was wonderful. That was marvelous. Oh, the boost! Run! I did it. Oh my gosh. Oh, very, very hot sauce. Finally. In Oregano Desert, I still had two achievements. One for killing every clerk sausage in each Pizza Mart, and another one for not getting hit by a single cow, which is annoying as it sounds. <gasps> no! Okay. No sweat. We have a lot of time. Get out of my way, please. All right, we made it. Oh, alien cow. Another level I had two achievements in still was Waste Yard, which was one of my favorite levels, by the way. But I simply had to kill 20 enemies in my ghost power-up, which to my confusion, there wasn't enough enemies until you did lap two. All right, let's go really fast then. Got it. For 10 ghosts. In the other achievement, you have to make sure you don't get caught by John Ghost in the chase scene. I'm so fast, look at me. Ooh, that was so close. There it is. Another one, ghosted. Fun farm with Mort the chicken required me to not take any damage with Mort on my back, which sadly was more difficult than I expected. But during my runs, I also got Cube Menace for grabbing this thing. Go down here. Mort Cube! And no one is safe for super taunting these three enemies here. Yay, good egg! Jumping into Fast Food Saloon, I knew I was in trouble when I saw that I needed to activate each one of these buttons only once uh. for an achievement. The buttons open up a wall for you to traverse through the level through, and one mistake here will spell the end of your run, as you will have to reactivate the switches to progress. Before doing this achievement, I grabbed non-alcoholic for destroying every beer bottle in the level, which was really easy. This pizza box right here. Aha! Non-alcoholic. Oh my god! Here we go. Oh shoot. Here we go again. I think I got it here. Yes! Already pressed. Press Cove was up next, and following the trend of the other levels, I had to not get hit by any explosions. Oh my god, the bombs! <gasps> Oh, I got hit. Also, I found every X spot for treasure and taunted back a bomb to this goblin for the other achievements. Alright, go. Aha, uh -huh, he didn't hit me. Never gonna get this. Finally! Oh my gosh. Demolition expert. It's clear they couldn't think much achievement-wise for the meme level Gnome Forest, as for some reason, I just had to taunt beside this bee for an achievement. Oh, here's a bee right here. Well, that was easy. Parry this nasty goblin for another, and make sure I destroy every single wood block on the level. Got it, let's go, Lumberjack. Another very easy level for achievements was Deep Dish 9, one of my other favorite levels. To start, we had to collateral these five enemies, Boom! not touch the ceiling during this section of the level, I uh, yes! Turbo tunnel. And destroy every asteroid in which there is only one semi-hidden one located right here. So there's a hidden asteroid right here. In Gulf, I was made to get all of the course primal rank pars, which with careful alignment wasn't as bad as I expected. Alright, easy prime bird. Kill three enemies in a single stroke, which I just grabbed and placed some enemies to make it possible, and have this burger friend hit the ball inside the goal. Hit the ball. Skadoosh! Yeah, helpful burger. The first achievement I went for in Peppy Bot Factory was Whoop This, which was for not taking any damage during the first secret. There we go. The next two were also easy as I had to remove the box form from each and every priest once each. And as long as you dodge this priest one, one, here, one, 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 you can one, reach the last one you need. And there one, can only be one was for destroying every Pepino robot in the level. 
got it. Oh, yes, I got it still. I failed to mention up until this point just how amazing these achievements look. I mean, just look at the last three we popped. They're amazing. Pig City was next. And there should be a secret raid here. Yep. I also got a strike here, and I went around taking pictures with the pig citizens. Yay, say oink. In Osh, we must avoid killing any of these pizza cardboard cutouts, which are different colors than the real ones, so it was easy to tell. These are cutouts. That's not a cutout. Also, the real ones needed to be parried 10 times. <laughs> Lastly, we have to avoid getting our pennies pinched by the penny pinchers here. The final level on World 4 was Refrigerator Freezerator. I had to kill 5 of these fake Santas which required supertons, and I needed to break every block with the bird logo on them. These two are the easy achievements, as the other achievement had me complete the entire level without falling into any pits. On a nice level, this was a huge pain. So bad that I just said screw it, and I decided to go for my first P rank in Pizza Tower. It didn't take long for me to realize that P ranks were extremely hard, and according to a guide I was reading at the time, this was actually one of the hardest levels as well. <gasps> oh my god. What am I doing? Yes! Oh my god. Oh my god! Finally! Finally that level was over, but it gave me a quick taste of what was coming up later. The final world we had Pizza Scare, where I had to kill 30 of these ghosts with the power up, destroy every single skull block, and also not getting hurt by a single one of these jackasses traps. Five Nights at Freddy's map was next, and this level had some challenging achievements. To start, when I got access to the shotgun at the end of the level, I had to kill every chase monster and also not let any of them touch me once. Yay, okay. I didn't get jump scared either, but the hard achievement that I was talking about was for me to not trigger any alarms at all, which took a multitude of attempts. Fudge, I did it again. Oh, you are so annoying! Yes! I was onto the final level, War, for all the extra achievements. In War, I was basically made to have a perfect run with the achievements as I had to beat the level without getting hurt less than three times, not miss more than three shots with a shotgun, and finish the run with more time than a minute. At the very least, the time related one was really easy as you can just skip the secrets to save a lot of time, but I managed to get a really good run for bit. every achievement at <gasps> no! once. No! Fuck you! That probably just ruined the achievement. Oh, oh, oh! Oh my god! Well, Zach, I got all three! <laughs> it was finally time to start the scary achievements. The P ranks. At the time, I decided to go for every damageless boss achievement. That way I could clean up every remaining achievement while also adding to the P rank checklist. Also, from this point forward, I'm going to be using the timer and an added heart rate monitor to show genuine reactions on completions. Alright. Damageless Peppermint. I ain't gonna show I ain't gonna sugarcoat it. Too easy. Here he comes. You! Oh god. Oh my god, that was my only choice. That was so clutch. Oh. See how quick I am now? I'm the goat. I think I got him. Yes! Let's freaking go. That was so quick. I'm good at this boss. Awesome. Oh, I said that. Big damage. Here comes the rocket launcher attack. He's gonna go around. Here it comes. No! Oh, the stupid ghost! Oh my 
Yeah! I think I got it. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. I actually focused this part. Yeah! Fucking got his ass. I got a C rank on this guy last time I tried. He's gonna roll me. That's all I know. Yo! <gasps> I almost fell for one of his stupid pranks. Oh my god, he's such a prankster, bro. Oh my god, that was clutch. Slam. Punch. I think I got it. I think. I think I got it. Yes! The noise! Ew. I thought I just got hit. Get off of me! Clutch haunt. Yes! Oh shoot! Oh! <gasps> Pizza Face was definitely different from the other four bosses as he Got him. has three different phases on his own and on top of that there's a phase where you have to face all four of the other bosses it's so yeah i mean the timer speaks for itself it took me a while the music goes hard here boys you might want to listen up <laughs> Oh! No! No! I hit him two more times! Oh my god, did I get it? Please tell me I got it. Ah! Ah! Come on, Pupino. I got it. Oh my god, I got it. Four hours straight grinding later. All of the bosses were complete damageless. That's another 5 achievements down, and only 10 more to go. Luckily, 5 of the 10 achievements were actually for S-ranking every world, so me going for each world's P-rank will also be popping those as well. So actually, we only have 5 achievements left. We're now going to be going through every level until I P-rank everything, starting from the very first level, working our way up. If you didn't already know how the P-ranks work, in order to achieve one, you must never drop your combo once, you must collect every secret, you must garner enough score for an S-rank, and lastly, you must complete the second lap of the course. 
What? Let's go! Oh. Okay. I gotta focus up. I already think I lost. I fucked up. Oh my god! Yes! I got it! You're- wow! Wow! You are a piece of garbage, dude! Where the frick are the enemies? There's one. Oh, you jumped again? You think I'm 12 or something? You frickin' frick. Okay. Yes! <laughs> Finally! Jesus! Yes! Oh my god, I did it. Finally. Oh, the pizza literally spawned on top of the exit. Holy crap. No! Yes. Oh no! No! Don't tell me that. That makes me lose. Yes! Okay. <laughs> I bet if I do that in a real run, I'll scream. <laughs> Let's go!
Let's go. Oh my god. So easy. Oh. No way. Oh my god. Thank God. Oh, yes! Thank you, God. Nice. That was nice. Hello? Oh, no. Oh, no. Please. What? Here we go. I think I got it. Yeah, I'm Bob. So good, dude. That was a mistake. Come on, please. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Oh my god! You know how nerve wracking that secret is? Did you see how hard it is? Back, hit, 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 jump! I am so mad, holy crap. Wait! I can recover it. Okay. This should push me in, because I opened it already. Maybe. I think I... Got this? Oh my god. Yeah, obviously. That's all I needed. Zach, I think I clutched it. <laughs> Please, hurry! Oh my god, run. Please run. Oh my god. <gasps> And here comes the Mac 10 speed! Wow. Insane! How did I clutch that? Sometimes it. Can I get this part? <gasps> oh! Let's go! World 3, P ranked. Are you freaking joking me? Oh, I hate this level. I can. Yes! Where's the time on this map? This is unfair. What? You're giving me no seconds to react. I lost because of that. That's. What is this level, man? Wow. Wait, I don't need him. Wait. <gasps> no! Oh my god. That's so bullshit. I know where I'm going. Yes! F this level! Oh, this is such a grind. <laughs> that 
That was perfect. Holy shit. No! Whoa, what a save! What the hell? Oh my god. What? How? How did I do it that fast? Okay. Hardest level in the entire game according to guides. Jump that. Let's go. It kicked. Don't fuck this up. Let's go. Hit that. Jump that. Jump that. Oh, oh. Okay. Kill that ghost. Yep. I don't know why me commentating myself helping. I'm giving myself moral support. Nice! Nice! Okay! Okay! Let's go! Now what? Now what, huh? Through there? Lap two. Okay, this is insane. How am I doing so good? <gasps> oh my god, what a save. Holy shit. Wait, where am I going? Oh my god, how did I save that? Dude, draw that, 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 that. That's why this is- You fucker! Uh. Uh. Oh my god, I did it that quick! Holy- Oh my god! That's the bet. I'm glad I was acting like a clown, because now I'm gonna be crowned in heaven for that one. No! Ah! I need to take a break. I need to take a break. Clear my head. No! Oh my god, I just P-ranked. I just P-ranked this level and I stop. Oh, I just P-ranked, don't make a sound, and I stop recording. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm so sorry, guys. Tap into the Illuminati. Come on. We got this. Oop. Get out of my way. Out of my way! Oh my god. It did it again. Recovery plan. Again. Not anymore, it's not. Okay. We gotta get it here. Right? Kill that. Oh, please let me grab it, please! Yes! Yes! Come on! How are we still on a P? Not a P rank. I don't know why. Now we're at P rank. Oh my god, we have no time. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god, yes! It's over! Oh my god, it popped P right when I got there. It's over. Oh my god. To say I felt relieved after all that would be an understatement, but yes, it was finally over. Thank you so much for watching this video, and if you enjoyed it, please like. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe, guys, it's free. Now that I got Pizza Tower out of the way, I will be pumping videos out more often, as a few of the games I have in mind are quite a bit shorter. But still, they're interesting, of course, so if you enjoyed this, make sure to stick around. I'll see you next week.